Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Now if we're making an offset and let's say we're starting from a fixed point like over here, shrinkage may enter into the picture. Suppose that we're 30 inches away from the fixed point, which is the front edge of this obstacle, which we know is 8 inches deep, which we want to offset over. How do we make this calculation? Okay, here's how. We're going to use a 30 degree angle for this. We have 8 inches of depth. Now on a 30 degree angle, the shrinkage is one quarter of an inch of shrinkage for every inch of depth. So we have 8 inches of depth times one quarter of an inch. That's 8 quarters of an inch, which is 2 inches. So our shrinkage in this case is going to be 2 inches. So let's mark our pipe. So we're 30 inches away from our fixed point. Now remember, our shrinkage is going to be 2 inches which means we have to move away from our obstacle because we're going to shrink to it. So we add 2 inches to 30, and we have 32 inches for our mark. Now the depth on this offset is 8 inches. Our multiplier is 2 with a 30 degree angle. So we have to be 16 inches away from this mark. So now it's time to mark that. Now I know also that 16 minus, or 32 minus 16 is 16, so I can mark it that way. Or I can take my tape and go 16 inches away, and I still get the same result. Once again, it's time to make the bend on this conduit. We must use the star point to make this bend. Very important, when you do it from a fixed point this way, you must use the star point. So I line up my star point. Now once again, it's a 30 degree angle. We know by now, we make our bend. So our bender handle is straight up and down. Okay, next bend. I'm going to start off with an air bend. Now remember, Let's look at this closely on the bender, because I, I want to show you something here which is very important and so we don't uh, have a common mistake. If we can take a closer look at this right here, we can see our two marks. Now what we have to do, remember, is to use this mark, because this was the original mark and we had to add the two inches. So a, a common mistake could be to use the wrong mark. So I want to point that out to you to keep that in mind. And after you get good at this and have a lot of experience, you won't even make this mark. You will, in your head, add the two inches and just make this mark. But we put this mark on as a teaching aid. So let's put a proper mark at the star. Okay, we line up our pipe. Now I'm going to use the trick again where I start as an air bend and then I'm just going to flip the conduit over and get it on the floor and bend it. So I see I'm about at 22 degrees, so I'm going to turn it over, put it on the floor, and just finish this off. So I'm straight up and down. Okay, that's where I want to be, so it's time to check how we did. So we've made our bend, and we put our pipe in place, and let's look how well it fits. We're at our fixed obstacle here, so we're running flat on our original elevation. We come up on our offset, we're at our new elevation, and let's take a look at our marks and see how this turned out. So we take a look here, here's the first mark that we made, but it's just a little bit an elevation lower than the height of our obstacle. But the second mark, in which we allow for shrinkage, puts us right at our proper elevation. 
So again, this is an example where shrinkage entered into the picture and was very important in making this calculation properly. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.